I would like to welcome and introduce at this time Captain Malloy, the Blue and Gold Officer from the United States Naval Academy. Captain Malloy graduated from the United States Naval Academy in the class of 1974. He was a naval aviator for 26 years. He was also a commanding officer of Helicopter Anti-Submarine Squadron 11, commanding officer of the USS Guam, and a graduate of the Naval Postgraduate School with a Master's of Science in Aeronautical Engineering. He was and has been a Defense Systems Acquisition Specialist, Program Manager, and is a graduate of the United States Air Force War College. And he served with our very own Mr. Kravak in the Philippines. Now to make a special presentation, Captain Malloy. It is my sincere privilege to be here representing the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland, to present an offer of appointment to a truly gifted and extraordinary student, Joey Lupo. Founded in 1845, the Naval Academy is one of the finest and most selective institutions of higher learning in the world. Our mission is to develop young men and women morally, mentally, and physically and to imbue with them the highest ideals of duty, honor, and loyalty to provide our nation with graduates who have the potential to assume the highest responsibilities of command, citizenship, and government. Our distinguished list of graduates is long and includes one President of the United States, 29 Chief of Naval Operations, 27 members of Congress, five state governors, two Nobel Prize awardees, 54 astronauts, more than any other college or university, 52 Rhodes Scholars, and 73 awardees of the Congressional Medal of Honor. The 4,000 men and women of the Brigade of Midshipmen have access to some of the best engineering, research, and athletic facilities in the country for their four years of study. They are encouraged and supported by a 600-member faculty considered one of the strongest college or university faculties in the nation. Upon graduation, midshipmen receive Bachelor of Science degrees and are commissioned as ensigns in the United States Navy or as second lieutenants in the United States Marine Corps. To receive an appointment to the United States Naval Academy, Joey went through a highly competitive process uncommon to any other college or university, and for good reason. We need the very best and brightest to fulfill our mission to preserve and protect our country's freedom. The Naval Academy received approximately 17,000 applications for the 1,200 available appointments for the class of 2024. All applicants were pre-screened and roughly 12,000 were designated official candidates. Throughout last summer, candidates were required to submit significant personal and academic credentials, participate in a rigorous fitness test, take a Department of Defense medical examination, and complete a blue and gold officer interview. During the fall, exceptional candidates were invited to formal interviews by New Hampshire congressmen and senators to compete for a very limited number of, of nominations allocated to them by Congress. By February of this year, the number of candidates throughout the country who were fully qualified and officially nominated stood at about 6,600. This very select group was then further evaluated in detail by the Naval Academy Admissions Board to be selected for an appointment to the class of 2024. By God's grace, the most well-rounded and gifted young people our nation has to offer will be entering in July to start their new lives as midshipmen in the United States Navy. And the young man I'm here for is the new foundation of this great institution. Joey's exceptional academic credentials, high scores in his college boards, his high standard of personal integrity, and strong desire to serve his country are a testament to the quality of his upbringing at home. Mom and Dad, thank you very much. And the commitment of the truly outstanding faculty and staff at Bishop Garrett High School to academic, athletic, and moral excellence. 
Joey is destined to join a very noble cause and follow a long line of professional naval and Marine Corps officers that have served before him. Joey has chosen to be challenged, to, pe to compete against exceptional peers and give more of himself than he ever dreamed. He has chosen to be groomed as a leader, to protect his nation so all of our hopes and dreams can be fulfilled in peace. In the words of American patriot John Paul Jones, and considered the father of the United States Navy, the stature of our homeland is no more than a measure of ourselves. Our job is to keep her free. Our will is to keep the torch of freedom burning for all. To this solemn promise we call on the young, the brave, the strong, and the free. Heed my call, come to the sea, come sail with me. Therefore, Candidate Lupo, it is my distinct honor to present on behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy an offer of appointment to the United States Naval Academy Class of 2024. Do you accept your appointment? Yes, sir. Well done. Welcome aboard. Stand tall, stand proud, as I like to say. Thank you, Captain Malloy, and congratulations, Joey. Good evening, Cardinals. This is Mr. Strinisty with a little interruption. After the award ceremony was filmed, we learned that another Bishop Girton student had received an appointment as well. I would like to reintroduce Captain Malloy, who returned graciously to Bishop Girton to present this second appointment. Captain Malloy. By God's grace, the most well-rounded and gifted young people our nation has to offer will be entering in July to start their new lives as midshipmen in the United States Navy. And the young man I am here for now is a new foundation of this great institution. Aiden's exceptional academic credentials, high scores on his college boards, his high standard of personal integrity and strong desire to serve his country are a testament to the quality of his upbringing at home Thank you, Mom and Dad. And to the commitment of the truly outstanding faculty and staff at Bishop Girton High School to academic, athletic, and moral excellence. Aiden is destined to join a very noble cause and follow a long line of professional Naval and Marine Corps officers that have served before him. Aiden has chosen to be challenged, to compete against exceptional peers, and give more of himself than he ever dreamed. He has chosen to be groomed as a leader to protect his nation so all of our hopes and dreams can be fulfilled in peace. In the words of American patriot John Paul Jones, considered to be father of the United States Navy, the stature of our homeland is no more than a measure of ourselves. Our job is to keep her free. Our will is to keep the torch of freedom burning for all. To this solemn promise we call the young, the brave, the strong, and the free. Heed my call, come to the sea, come sail with me. Therefore, Candidate Johnson is my direct honor to present on behalf of the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy an offer of appointment to the United States Naval Academy Class of 2024. Do you accept? Yes, sir. Well done, welcome aboard. Stand tall, stand proud. 